Véletlenül kibújtál. Kit nem látok? God be with you. You haven't heard of any recruiters around here, have you? People looking for armed men? Perhaps, but I'll not speak of it now. Why not? It's important. Because we're in the middle of something. Come on. Nothing bad will happen if you talk to me. Perhaps not, but I'll tell you when we're done. My memory will be sharper then. Right. Christ, it's like pulling teeth with you. I hope you're more generous with your grossum than your words. God be with you. How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me, why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? Take care.
be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? No, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> We're better. There's more wine there than in the royal cellars, and I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well... There is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns, supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. 
Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to win off, all right? Good luck then. Good health to you. You wouldn't be Carl by any chance? No. Goodbye. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Are you Carl by any chance? I'll be right back. I am? Why do you ask? I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes. Yes, it's true. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. So instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. Let's have a drink. A man after my own heart. The drink's on me. And will my guardian angel here join us in imbibing? No, he will not. Perish the thought. My dear, dear I'll lad, right what a away. cross I have to bear. You know, you after right the away. tavern, we should pay a visit to some whores. But Manfred won't let me. 
Get rid of him. Farewell. God be with you. You're Manfred, the Hi. young lord's guardian. Indeed I am. Why? You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk, and not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I can see you're a reliable lad. So what shall we have to drink? And while we're at it, why not have a little game? Goodbye. <laughs> Wait to see how you throw. I have to do to get a drink here. Should I? Shouldn't I? Here. No, I don't. Holy mother of like God. Beer. Why do you... Ugh. I've had enough. And you said you wouldn't drink today. Silence. I'm going to sleep. Here's a few coins. Have fun. A time good here. We're going to the monastery. Is that clear? Couldn't you give me more? This isn't even enough for a toothless whore. It's enough for beer. Good style. The service is a bit slow here today. Coming. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was, um, indisposed for nine months. But they don't send you to the monastery for that. They do, when it's the daughter of the Lord of York. Be shit. Shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Book of her was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice, either. Pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. What good is that to me when he has all the money, and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? Why don't you just run away? Bear asked, what the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have right to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand, and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning and no one would ever see me again. What if I entered the monastery instead of you? What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. But that's your problem. You can only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them on you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. 
So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. Disappear? Bear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunt... That's all then. Good luck to you. I've got what you need. Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. Here's half the purse. Half? What about the rest? I'm keeping it for my efforts. Well, I can't say that seems fair to me. But what can I do? Take care now. That's a good b That's my- I've got something that needs to... All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Wouldn't you like to take... What? No, but stop by late. I'd like to... That's all. Greetings. What do you need? Sir, this investigation into the Neuhof massacre... It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhof. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhof too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. Good luck, then. Good luck, then.